Having all students respond to the NAIDOC theme, the 10 Embassy, is tremendously satisfying and, and commendable because there are so many kids in the schools that I visit that, as per myself when I was at school, they don't know the true history of this place. And the 10 Embassy was something that was within their parents' lifetime. It, it occurred then, it didn't, you don't have to go back too far beyond that, even though everything that happened in this country is only 224 years ago, but, uh, or began then. And so the 10th Embassy is something that everybody needs to know about. And they also need to be familiar with the continual ongoing operation of the 10th Embassy in its existence down in Canberra. And why that was so important in our history is because if it wasn't for that 10 embassy and those key role players in the early days, then quite possibly there'd be way fewer Aboriginal people here today than there are. And so for the students to um, respond to that artistically is also a, an, another amazing thing because it's, um, it's introducing those students to the very thing that people like me have to wake up with every day. If somebody says to us they want to put an exhibition of my work on, they talk about a theme. And I have to think of a theme or I make my own theme. And then I have to make a series of artworks that tells people a story relating to that theme. So it's fantastic that the students are making artworks in response to something so important, a political thing, because basically familiarises with all those students who are doing it with what it's like to be Adam and waking up each day and making the same kind of stuff.